Good morning, everybody. It is quarter to nine in the morning, and it's a Friday, which is probably more exciting when you're not a stay at home mum. Maggie's is currently doing a little dance to say hello, everybody. Yes, he's wearing odd pajamas. I'm just going with it these days. <laughs> and I'm on the painkillers today. It's one of those days. So I apologise if I go all floopy at points. Um, it's Zapain and I haven't used it for a while. And it's making me feel a bit floopy. So yeah, sorry about that. I have absolutely no idea what we are doing today. Um, we need to get this house cleaned. But it's not the easiest to do with a one-year-old. So I think we're going to have to tag team it. Somebody is sitting down and learning, ooh, how to be a famous vlogger. He seems to be, yeah, he's showing everyone, yeah? He, he's the star of this vlog anyway, so he gets to learn all about it. He's suddenly developed a real love of books. I managed to get a picture of him last night, just sat down reading one of his books, upside down. It's on my Instagram if anyone wants to see it. I'll leave a link to that down below. What you reading? Do you have a look? <gasps> Here come the dinosaurs. If you feel this bit, it's bumpy. Bumpy, bumpy. Yeah. Do you want to feel it? Is that a triceratops? Yeah. Oh, thank you. So yeah, he's looking at clap hands. Here come the dinosaurs. Just this is one of his um birthday presents from his grandparents. Quite a nice little book. Especially if you like dinosaurs. This room really needs tidying. But Daddy's going to tidy whilst we escape for the day. Mwah. Yeah, we've decided it's too awkward at the moment trying to get this place. It needs like a proper like spring cleaning. So I'm going to take him out whilst Daddy does that. Yeah, we're going to go out for a bit? Okay. Yeah. Did you and Thomas run off with my shoe? <laughs> yeah, where did you take it? So we are out, um, that's where I'm always talking to you, standing like this exact spot. But yeah, we're just waiting for Amber to get here. I tell you, people can be so judgmental. Walking past this, like, a couple of old women, and they looked at me and suddenly started talking about how people are having kids too young these days. Like, I'll be 26 in August. I'm not exactly, like, <laughs> that young anymore. Like, I know I look young, but yeah, I'm, I'm older than people think. I'm not too young to be having children. And even if I was younger, like, it's not really any of their business if I had kids. So yeah, that was a thing. <laughs> I also got very confused. Um, I'm guessing some of you watching this probably watch Susie on Susie Vlogs. Um, I saw this kid that was like a spitting image of Xander. And I was like, who, why, is that Xander? If he is, who is all these people he's with? And suddenly realized that uh, he's with her in-laws. So yeah, that was quite an entertaining moment. Um, so yeah, like I said, we're just waiting for Amber. I'm not really sure what's gonna, be the plan after that we're just sort of getting out of the house of trusting to do some tidying really to be honest make it a bit easier on him so i have found an amber she actually has a video a video a uh, youtube channel herself now so i'll leave a link down below 
so you can check her out. She's going to be doing more sort of family planning sort of videos at the moment. Very exciting stuff. Um, at the moment we're just sort of wandering around the shops waiting for lunchtime. Currently in New Look. It's all very expensive. I remember why I usually stop at Primark like exclusively. Primark. Burger King and we're now having to pop to Pep and Co as a certain somebody spilt milk all down his top and a certain someone else did not bring a spare so there's pretty cheap stuff in Pep and Co and I can start his summer wardrobe a bit I guess so that's a bonus I guess just trying to excuse the shopping stuff at the moment but no he really does need a new top because he has milk all down it I don't know if you can see There's Magnus's new outfit. He's got a little, I think it's a shark top because he's got a hood which has a little fin on. And underneath that, he's got like an olive green top which says, what does it say? Something about being rawsome. Um, I'll show you properly when we get home because he's not really letting us stop at the moment. He is a man on a mission. So yeah, they're walking. He's getting really, really confident walking outside now. Um, yeah, he barely touches his pram when we let him off. <laughs> so, um, the last half hour or so has been interesting. <laughs> we let Magnus take the lead. So, we've been into Dorothy Perkins, out of Dorothy Perkins again, into Dorothy Perkins, out of Dorothy Perkins again. We followed into a dog. Um, yeah, we've gone into Santander about five times. And now he's tired, so he's back in his pram. <laughs> but oh my hay fever has just sort of hit smacked me in the face right now that's why like i keep rubbing my nose because it's like insanely itchy so we're gonna go get some tablets for me and a drink because my painkillers are making me insanely thirsty today and i kind of want to eat something sweet but i'm not sure what to do about that because i don't want to give in like every time i have these cravings because of like okay i'm not really doing slimming world anymore but at the same time i don't want to put all the weight back on so I don't know whether to just have a couple of treat weeks just get it all out of my system and then just get back into like the really healthy eating or yeah I'm not sure yet so all I know right now is I need some hay fever tablets before my whole face explodes we've just popped into Specsavers and I my glasses are actually tightened and um, they've been really loose for ages but yeah, they tighten the screws up and they're not falling off my face anymore. Even though, obviously with Magnus, they're probably going to be loose again in about two seconds. But it feels better for a minute. They also cleaned my glasses, like, properly, so I can see properly. Um, although while we were there, they have, like, these displays of, like, Disney Princess and Avengers glasses for kids, which happen to fit me perfectly. I don't know if I've ever mentioned, or if you can probably see, but I have a ridiculously small head. But I didn't realise it was quite that small. We are home. We made it alive. Um, I got these from Tesco. I'll just show you quickly because they're really cute. Little Marvel t-shirts. Um, I'm sure Magnus is probably going to be dressed in one of these like tomorrow if you want to see them. But yeah, I'm not feeling great. Um, I think the painkillers are starting to affect me a bit. I nearly fainted coming out of Tesco and I just feel absolutely rubbish now. So I'm just going to try and rest for a bit. But the house looks, well at least the lounge, I haven't looked elsewhere, looks nice and tidy. And yeah, it's quite good coming into like a really nice looking room. Although as Magnus is home, it's probably not going to last that long. Five minutes. 
that's how long it took for the room to get messy. Um, this box was up on the side there and he's just pulled it off and he's broken the box. Um, so yeah, that's not good. We're probably gonna have to get two new boxes now when I get paid, I think. But I found a couple for like four pounds, so I suppose that's not too bad. It's still gonna be under a tenner. And he's just reveling in the mess and creating a very big noise, which is really not what I want right now because I feel terrible. Ready for it. <laughs> 